Hello and welcome everyone. I hope you all are fit and fine. Today we are going to do geography part. We will begin with chapter number 2 that is globe, a model of the earth. Let us start now. Students, see the first topic that is the globe introduction. See the first point. In the last chapter, in the last chapter, you studied that the Earth is a unique planet. Why we call Earth as a unique planet? Because Earth is the only planet. Earth is the only planet where the life exists, right? See the next point. It is shaped like a geoid, which means it is not an absolute sphere. Students, what is the shape of the earth? The shape of the earth is geoid. It is not a sphere in shape. Students, the shape of the earth is not sphere in shape. Okay? The shape of the earth is geoid. Geoid means what? Have you seen an orange? Yes, exactly. It is same as the shape of the earth. It is bulged out at the center both the center, it is bulged out and it is little bit flat at the top and the bottom. Okay, that is actually the shape of the earth. It is bulging. Bulging means little bit swelled up. Okay, fuller hua sa rata hai. Center part mein and at the top and the bottom it is flat. Okay, that shape is known as geoid. That is why we say that the earth is geoid in shape and not sphere, right? Now, see the last point. You can understand that this is a very large size and it is not possible to see how it looks. Students, we know that earth is very large in size. Have you seen earth? No, we never, like, we have never seen earth. It is not possible for us to see earth in real. Why? Because it is very large in size, right? Now, to understand how it looks and how it moves, a miniaturized model is formed. Students, to understand how it looks, how earth looks and how earth moves, a miniaturized model is formed which is known as globe. A miniaturized, what do you mean by miniaturized? Miniaturized model means a very small model. In real, the earth is very large in size but we cannot see the earth, right? How it looks. So that is why a small model has been prepared. A miniature model has been prepared, okay? Which is small in size, which looks same as the earth. And that model is known as what? That model is known as globe. Very correct. You can see the picture of the globe right here. Okay. This is a miniature model of the earth which is known as the globe. Now, let us move to the next topic that is globe meaning. What do you mean by the globe? See the first point. The globe is a miniature model of the earth. What is a globe? A globe is a miniature model of the earth. Students, what do you mean by miniature model? I told you miniature model means which is like a small model, which is small in size. Okay? Jaise bohat cheeze hoti hai, jo bohat large size mein available hoti hai. And jab large size model ka same exactly jab usko chote size mein banaya jata hai ya fir usko yes usko duplicate karke as it is jab usko chote size mein represent kiya jata hai us model ko hum kya bolte hai miniature model okay miniature model means a small model okay so globe is what a globe is a miniature model of the earth see the second point it shows where and how the various land masses exist and where there are rivers and oceans. Now, when we look into the globe, see, see the picture. When we look into the globe, what we can see? We can see many like areas, countries, okay, plus land masses, rivers, ocean. We can see different things, okay. So, map, sorry, 
So the globe helps us to see where there are land masses. See the laser pointer. Students, follow the laser pointer. These, these are the land masses, the land area. Okay. Now, see the blue part. This is Indian Ocean. This is Pacific Ocean. Okay. So these are the, what? These are the area, the land masses, the oceans. Okay, by seeing the globe, we can easily locate the places. Where are the land masses, where are the rivers, where are the oceans, right? Now, coming to the next and the last point, that is, it is anchored at two points at the top and at the bottom. The globe is anchored at two points, at the top and at bottom. And at the bottom, it allows it to be rotated freely. Students, see, see the picture. You can see on the top also it is anchored with a pin and on the bottom also it is anchored with a pin. Why the globe is anchored here? Why it is fit here? So that it can easily rotate like our earth rotates in real, right? Now the two points at the top and the bottom where the globe is anchored denote the North Pole and the South Pole. Students, the two points at the top and at the bottom, the two points are known as North Pole and the South Pole. The top one is known as the North Pole and the bottom one is known as the South Pole. Okay. Now, let us move to the next point that is axis. Students, what do you mean by axis? See, the imaginary line passing from one point of anchor to the other is known as the axis of the earth. Axis is what? It is an imaginary line. Okay, imaginary line students, it means that it is you like this, these are not real lines. Okay, on the earth, no lines are made. Okay, no lines are there. These are just imaginary, imaginary lines. Okay. So, axis is what? These are the imaginary lines passing from one point of the anchor. One point of the anchor means from one point. Anchor is at two point, right? At the top and the bottom. So, it passes, passes from one side of anchor to the other side. This line is known as what? This line is known as axis of the earth. See student, can you see this red line here? Yes, this red line here. Yes, this red line is known as the axis of the earth, right? If you notice carefully, the axis is not vertical but an angle. If you will notice, it is not vertical line, means it is not straight vertical line but it is slightly bent. It is at angle, it is slightly bent, okay? Therefore, the globe stands tilted at an angle of 66 and a half degree. When you will see the globe, the globe is made tilted. Globe ko kaise banaya gaya? Thoda sa tilted banaya gaya. Wo ek taraf thoda sa jhuka hota hai. Globe ko kyun waisa banaya gaya hai? Kyunki actually me the axis of the earth is tilted. To realistic me dikhane ke liye globe ko bhi tilted banaya gaya hai. At an angle it has been made. Okay, at 66 and a half degree. So, this is how tilted it is. straight line. Hai. Okay, this is the straight line, white dotted line. And this is tilted at 23 and a 5 degree, 23.5 degree. Okay, so this red line is known as axis of the earth, which is not a straight vertical line, but a slight bend. Okay, it is at an angle. Okay, it is slightly bent at 66 and a half degree. Now, students, let us move to the next point that is markings on the globe. Students, when you will see a globe, there are different imaginary lines, different markings are made in the globe. What are those markings? Let us study about that. See, why markings are done on the globe? Markings are what? Dear, markings are not made. If you will, like, in real, there is no mark, no lines on the earth, but imaginary lines are drawn on the globe which helps us to locate the place why it is drawn in the globe we will in the globe if you will see there are different lines there are different markings and why those markings and lines are made so that we can understand where are the where are the different places okay it helps us to understand where are the different places and where are they located right now 
first marking on the globe is equator. See the explanation. The equator is an imaginary line. This is also an imaginary line which runs in the middle of the globe around the widest part. It divides the earth horizontally into hemispheres. Students, can you see this line? This line? Yes. This line is known as the line of equator. This line of equator is an imaginary line line and this line runs where in the middle of the globe this is exactly at the center you can see okay this is exactly at the center and it divides the earth this is a complete earth and it divides the earth into two equal part now the equator the line of the equator is horizontal horizontal means like this horizontal it is not vertical it is not like a straight line it is not vertical okay it is horizontal in shape okay and it divides the earth into two equal part which is known as hem no which is known as hemisphere see the northern hemisphere see the explanation the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere both the hemispheres are equal in size see the top one this area is this is the top is north pole and this is south pole so above the equator okay above this line above this line all this area is known as northern hemisphere and below this equator okay below this line all the area towards like till the south pole is known as southern hemisphere right so this is the first marking on the globe that is equator Now students, see the second marking which is done in the globe. The second marking is latitudes. Students, what is latitudes? These are imaginary lines. These are also imaginary lines running parallel to the equator around the globe. Latitudes are drawn parallel to the equator. We have studied previously. Which is equator students? This this red line okay this red line which is going straight in between the globe okay and which is dividing the earth into two part this line is known as equator see the marking is given this line is known as equator so you can see there are different red lines okay you can see there are different these are the red lines which is passing passing okay these are the parallel lines parallel lines are the lines which do not intersect wo ek dusre mein intersect nahi hote they run parallelly theek hai wo ek sath run hote hain they are parallel to each other they never intersect wo kabhi ek dusre ke sath milte nahi hai they never intersect with each other okay those are known as parallel lines right so there are many parallel lines which run parallelly there are many lines which runs parallel to the equator theek hai to equator this is the इक्वेटर राइट तो वो इक्वेटर के पैरल में होते हैं ओके एट द टॉप ऑल्सो एंड एट द बॉटम ऑल्सो एवरीवेयर नाउ ईच हेमस्फियर हैज बीन डिवाइडेड बाय पैरल लाइन अगर आप देखेंगे वी हैव स्टडीड राइट दिस इज नॉर्दर्न हेमस्फियर दिस इज सदर्न हेमस्फियर सो इन बोथ द हेमस्फियर देर आर डिफरेंट लैटिट्यूड ओके विच आर ड्रॉन राइट एंड द मार्किंग्स All these markings, the lines are marked in degrees, right? See, we will study here. Study here. There are different latitudes. What are the different latitudes? We will see here. See the point. Zero degree latitude is known as equator. See, students, we have studied in the previous point also. The line which runs at the middle of the earth, which divides the earth into two parts, is known as equator. Equator is the horizontal line which divides the earth into two part okay this is also known as zero degree latitude okay so this is equator you can see the picture here this is equator now above equator this area is northern hemisphere we can see that the top area is known as north pole and the bottom area is known as south pole so from equator from this point from equator to the north pole is known as northern hemisphere and from from equator to the south pole is known as southern hemisphere right now see above equator there is a parallel line which is known as tropic of cancer see the explanation 23 degree 23 and 1/2 degree in north okay 
this line is towards the north okay it is in the northern hemisphere okay so that is why it is written north okay so 23 and a half degree at this point is tropic of cancer okay now see below the equator in the southern hemisphere there is tropic of capricorn okay the tropic of capricorn is at 23 and a half degree south why south because it is in the southern hemisphere tropic of cancer is uh, so tropic of capricorn is in the southern hemisphere that is why the marking is 23 and a half degree south okay now 66 degree 66 and a half degree north see towards the north at 66 and a half degree there is arctic circle on the top arctic circle okay and 66 degree in south towards the south at the end there is antarctic circle this line this line is known as arctic sorry antarctic circle so students all this equator you can see equator tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn arctic circle and antarctic circle 1 2 3 4 5 these are the five important latitudes all these are known as latitudes okay these are the lines which are horizontally drawn okay and these are parallel to equator equator is always in the center as you can see in the picture and all this lines run parallel to equator parallel to equator means this lines never intersect with each other they run parallel okay so here we have studied about different markings of the globe okay we have studied about equator and second we have studied about latitudes now the further topics we will continue in our next class that was it for today students have a good day take care